Welcome to Math Tips and Solutions. Today, I will continue exercise 14.4 of class 6, chapter 14, Practical Geometry. First question, draw any line segment AB, mark any point M on it, through M draw a perpendicular AB, use ruler and compasses. So this one, first you have to draw a line segment AB. The measurement is not given so you can take any measurement and you can draw. Like this. Without measuring just write AB. Draw and write AB. Now you have to mark any point M on it. Anywhere you can mark a point M. Through M, draw a perpendicular to AB. I will show you how to do this. You have to use the compass and pencil. So first, take M as center and draw a semicircle. Such that the two ends should touch the line segment AB. Like this. And mark the point. Let this be C. The intersecting points C and D. C and D intersect at line segment AB. Now we are going to draw the perpendicular. With C as center, take a convenient radius which is greater than CM. Should be more than CM. Like this. And draw an arc. Draw an arc at the top part. Then with the same radius D as center draw an arc. Now you can see that the two arcs intersect at a point. Join this point and M. You can name this point as N. Therefore M and perpendicular to AB. Now let's see question number 2. Draw any line segment PQ. Take any point R not on it. Through R, draw a perpendicular to PQ. Use ruler and set square. I will show you with ruler and set square first. Most of the schools, they are not using set square. They are using compass and ruler only. So I will show both the methods. First, draw the line segment PQ. The measurement is not given, so you can draw a line segment. Like this. Mark the endpoints as P and Q. Take any point R not on it. So you can take any point R. I am going to take here R which is not on PQ. You can take anywhere but don't take outside the line segment within the line segment only. Up or down anywhere you can take. Now through R draw a perpendicular to PQ. I will show you how to draw it using ruler and set square. This one you have to take the set square. Now see the set square you can see this is the perpendicular side. So let the perpendicular side keep like this. And the lengthy side here down. Perpendicular side touch the line segment. And the ruler you keep like this. Hold the ruler tightly. You are not going to move the ruler. You are going to move the set square only. Move the set square until you touch R. Move slowly like this. Like this, like this. Don't move the ruler. Only the set square. So hold the ruler tightly like this. Like this. See? 
now we will touch R the point R and draw a perpendicular that's it so if you want you can give this name as S so RS is perpendicular to PQ that's it now I will show you how to draw the same question using ruler and compass first you have to draw a line segment PQ mark a point R which is not on the line segment I am marking here R now we are, we are going to draw a perpendicular to PQ through R now take your compass and ruler and take it with R as center and see you have to take the radius like this it should be little bit down down to the line segment more than this below the line segment not up above it should be like this little bit down and cut it cut like this okay now with this point as center draw an arc and with this point as center draw the other arc this to intersect at here now join this R and this point you can give this name as S so R is perpendicular to PQ like this now let's move to question number 3 draw a line L and a point X on it through X draw a line segment XY perpendicular to L now draw a perpendicular to XY at Y use ruler and compasses so first we can draw a line L so first draw a line L it's a line so no end points then and a point x on it let this be x through x draw a line segment x y perpendicular to l so take x as the center with a convenient radius draw an arc like this so the arc intersect at two points on the line L. From the first point, take a radius more than X, more than X, and draw an arc. From the other side also, draw an arc. Now join this X with this intersecting point like this I'm giving it as y so x x y perpendicular to l see x y is perpendicular to l this is the line segment x y Next question is now draw a perpendicular to x, y at y. So you have to draw a perpendicular to this x, y with y as center. For this you have to turn your book. So it will come like this. <coughs> See x, y. x, y is the line segment. Now with y as center draw an arc that cuts x y you will get two points like this from this point 
take the radius more than y and draw an arc. From this side also, draw an arc. Now mark the intersecting point. Join this two point. Sorry. Draw it correctly. And give the name for this line as M. Now you can see that. See the line M is perpendicular to xy so first you have to draw a line mark a point x on it then construct the perpendicular first you have to keep the compass here then draw an arc from this point with the radius more than x draw, draw construct an arc here and from here also an arc then join these two points then mark here y, so xy perpendicular to line L. Now turn the book, keep y as center, draw an arc. From here the same process you have to repeat. Thus line M is perpendicular to xy. That's for today. Thank you.